Welcome to the Specialty Products Company installation video for the 67420 and 67440 forged rear camber arm. These high strength forged arms are perfect for installers bringing car back to spec or tuners that need extended camber ranges. Always follow proper safety precautions associated with all the equipment used in this video. Read the installation instructions thoroughly. Always check for loose or worn parts, tire pressure, and tire wear. Raise vehicle directly under rear coil springs so suspension is loaded and support with jack stands. Remove rear wheel assembly. Place magnetic camber gauge, SPC part number 81139, on rotor or brake drum and zero the gauge. Remove stock rear upper control arm by removing both inner and outer bolts. Use a long wobble extension and position it above the subframe cross member to access the inner bolt. Adjust the new control arm so the outer bushing and adjuster nut are threaded completely into the arm so no threads are showing. Remember, whenever there's a notch in the nut, it means the nut is left hand threaded. Hold the outer bushing from moving and turn the large 32 mm adjusting nut until the arm length is approximately the same as the stock arm. While installing the arm, be careful not to rotate the adjuster nut or outer bushing. Install arm into vehicle using stock bolts and lightly tighten. Do not tighten bolts until the suspension is fully loaded or the weight of the car is on the tires. Check the clearance between the shock absorber and control arm pinch bolt. If you feel there's not enough clearance, remove the pinch bolt and reinstall it so the button head of the bolt is closest to the shock housing. Consulting bubble gauge, adjust camber as desired turning the 32 mm adjusting nut. When you have the camber adjustment where you want it, tighten the pinch bolt to specification in the instructions. Use a 5 mm Allen wrench with a ball end to easily tighten the pinch bolt. Tighten the 27 mm jam nut securely against the adjuster nut. Install tire and wheel assembly and lower the vehicle. Install alignment equipment and compensate. Verify alignment readings. If additional adjustment is needed, loosen jam nut and pinch bolt and adjust camber by turning large 32 mm adjusting nut. The gap between the large adjusting nut and the outer end of the arm should not exceed 12.7 mm or a half an inch. Exceeding the range of the adjustment of these arms can cause them to fail and void warranty. Retighten small pinch nut and then tighten jam nut tightly against the adjuster nut. Adjust rear toe, finish alignment, and road test the vehicle. Thank you for watching. For over 40 years, Specialty Products Company has been designing, testing, and manufacturing world class alignment and suspension solutions. For more videos, visit us online at www.spc-tv.com.